Hello, I'm Joel, and welcome to another of my Palm Cove market updates as we wrap up quarter two of 2023 and the end of financial year. Things seem to be ramping up in Palm Cove as we move into the winter months, with occupancy levels in the resorts reaching capacity after a less than busy start to the year. Speaking with realestate.com.au, our property views and online inquiry levels are on the rise as we enter our peak season months as holidaymakers flood into the area for our sunny and warm winter weather, just like today. Low stock levels and 35% less total sales in the suburb over the last 12 months still means more competition around individual listings, which is good news for sellers. A couple of the larger complexes have multiple apartments listed for sale, but generally there are limited options for buyers, which is keeping Palm Cove on the side of a seller's market. This continues to be one of the primary driving factors in Palm Cove's incredible growth over these last few years. After all, it's all about supply versus demand. Palm Cove remains in a fantastic position right now, and I am optimistic about the future of the property market in the suburb. Some market statistics for you. The median house price is currently $1,007,000, an increase of 7%, and the average house price in Palm Cove is now $1.136 million, an increase of 10%, so rises all around. There were just 59 recorded home sales in Palm Cove in the last 12 months, at a total dollar volume of 67 million. That is down 38% in regards to the number of sales versus the 95 that sold over the previous 12 month rolling period. Once again, not much supply, demand still quite strong. For apartments, the median apartment price is now at 451,000. That's an increase of 20%. Uh, and the average unit price is now 598,000, an increase of 21%. There has been 154 apartment sales in the last 12 months at a total value of 92 million in comparison to last year, which had 242 sales. So that's down a 36% number. And once again, we're seeing that the lack of supply and still quite high levels of demand is pushing those prices further north. Currently in Palm Cove, there are just 60 properties advertised for sale on realestate.com.au. Only 51 of these are listed as not under offer. This comprises of just 20 houses and 31 units that are available right now for purchase. So the stock levels at this moment are slightly down from this time three months ago. And once again, this is meaning fewer options for buyers looking to enter the Palm Cove market and more competition around the existing listings that are currently for sale. And as I said previously, this is pushing prices up. Personally, I have handed more sales in the suburb than any other agent, 31 total. And Bell Property Cairns has sold 45 properties in Palm Cove in the last 12 month period. This means that once again, Bell Property has handled around 22% of all sales in the suburb in this period. And we do retain our market leader title for Palm Cove for another quarter. If you're looking to sell or buy, there's a very strong chance we're already dealing with your next buyer or seller. If you are considering selling, I am more than happy to provide you with an obligation-free market appraisal and to discuss the best method to achieve the highest possible price for your property in the current market. If you haven't had your property valued recently, it might be a good time to reevaluate. So once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in Palm Cove very soon. Take care.